hi guys welcome to this excel course in this video i'm gonna take a very quick look at some of the keyboard shortcuts that i find most useful in excel i'm gonna start with some of most used editing shortcuts so these are your copy and paste shortcuts and how to do things like insert a new worksheet so to copy a cell you click in the cell and use keyboard shortcut Control plus C then to paste this cell into a new cell select where you want to paste it into and use the keyboard shortcut Control plus V now this will copy and paste everything that's in your original cell into your new cell including any formula format as well as text and any comments if you don't want everything in your cell to pass the new cell you might want to use your best special shortcut so that is the control plus alt plus v and will bring up uh, your best special box where you can select exactly what you want to copy so if you only want to copy the values over click ok and your cell has copied just the body uses just the text that is in the original cell we do that again control v if we want to say just do the, the format select your formats click ok you, and you will see it's just copied over this green color one thing that can make the past special shortcuts a little bit quicker to use if you select your cell hit control v and then you will notice that each of these options has one letter of it underlined so if we click v it will pop up the values number one if we hit c it will pop up the comments one so if you want to pay special just your values hit v and then enter and, and it will do that so doing it much quicker Control alt v v and then enter and your values are pasted much quicker than having to go through clicking individually and click into it if you want to cut out and move it somewhere else in your workbook the shortcut is Control x and then paste it somewhere else with your Control plus v it will move everything that is in your original cell over including all your formats another editing shortcut that is i found useful is f2 which is basically enters into your cell and message edit without having to either double click in the cell or click into your formula bar you can also use the shortcut shift plus f2 if you want to add comments into your cell so i'm just undoing those uh, last few steps another editing shortcut is the shortcut to insert a new worksheet which is shift f11 and that will insert a new worksheet to the left of the one that you are in so we'll just delete that again to find a keyboard shortcut that you should be aware of are those that allow you to copy the cell either above or the left or the one that you are in so if you hold ctrl plus d it will fill down so it will copy exact what is in the cell above and further down and equally ctrl plus r copy exactly what the right of it moving into our formatting shortcuts some of the easy ones to remember ctrl plus v makes your text bold ctrl plus e makes it italic and ctrl plus u will underline your text so that works for whatever cell you are in if you select multiple cells so control plus b it will make everything in the cell in bold it's also useful to know how to undo the keyboard which is control plus z and obviously press it as many times as you need to go back as number of steps if you go back too far and decide you actually want to redo the most recent moves the shortcut is ctrl and y i'm doing that again with our ctrl and z another one of the formatting shortcuts that i use most is if we select a cell go ctrl plus one 
it bring up your format cell box where you can not only select how you want your number formatted also change the elements of your cell change your font and hair put borders and cell change the fail style or add protection to your cell this is helpful when you want to prevent people from changing certain things in your worksheet and you want to lock it and have certain cells that can't be changed we'll touch it again in the lecture video there are other formatting shortcuts that can be useful for most people i don't personally use some of this but if example if we have 0.5 in a cell and we want to change it into percentage control shift percentage we'll also not only change the format i personally find it easier to just use control plus one go to my number tab and select what i want but some people find this other keyboard shortcut useful so if you would like some more information in this kind of formatting shortcut move into navigation in your workbook obviously we can navigate with the arrows so if you have got named ranged in your workbook i don't currently have any in this but ctrl plus g bring up the go to box which can allow you if we have got multiple work tabs which and say make tabs in them you can quickly flip between different sheets and find what you are looking for there are then a quick shortcuts for selecting things like in the entire row so if we click in the cell and hold shift in the space bar it will select your entire row and in a similar manner control space bar select your entire column a useful to insert a row in your workbook is the shortcut control shift plus and you get this insert so you can either just insert your cell or can insert an entire row or an entire column equally if we actually have selected an entire row and hold control shift plus it will actually just automatically insert the row and similarly control shift plus plus will automatically put a column into the left the final few shortcuts are all relating to saving your files open a new one control plus s saves your files f12 bring up your savers box control and end will open a new workbook and control plus o will bring up your open workbook where you can see workbooks that you have been recently working in if you want to quickly close a file click Control plus F4. Will it close it down? It's not one personally that I use very often, but some people might find it that one is useful. Two final shortcuts which I constantly use is where I might want to enter either the current day or the current time in workbook. And do this, it's control and this semicolon for the current date and control shift plus go on for the current time so that is some of excel shortcuts that i personally find most useful hopefully you have learned something new today thank you 